Joining me in the room podcast to talk about his amateur featherweight title fight happening at reality fighting on January 6th at Mohegan Sun is Mike Jolica. World of Woods. What's going on, my friend? How you doing, bro? What's up, my man? (laughs) Doing great, man. Just fucking living my own world, you know? Hey, bro. Uh, Happy happy holidays, my man. Happy holidays. Yeah, you too, man. Was it a good Christmas? What would you get into? I was working 24-7. My kids are all old, so I just throw them a check and uh, they're good to go. (laughs) And, uh, you know, I I just stay working to uh, afford the next Christmas that comes up, man. But uh, you you got a little one and a family, man. How was yours? Yeah, it was good, man. You know, same as you. Uh, got got a few days off. Got like, uh, what was it? Um, got like that Tuesday after Christmas off, so the 26th. But uh, was good, man. Just spent the time with the family. <laughs> Couldn't eat, though, you know? Uh, <laughs> it was fun, though. It was a great time. My son had a good Christmas, so that's what matters most. Excellent. Uh, well, as far as as far as eating, have you had to uh, starve yourself uh, during the holidays and previous, uh, previous fight camps? <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know, man, uh, come to think of, back on it, maybe, uh, uh, I don't think so, uh, nah, I don't think so. So this, this is the like, first uh, one. really it. <laughs> first one, man, uh, uh, experience, man, now you, uh, gotta stop and you can have, uh, uh, and even in New Year's, man, you gotta hold back on that. I would imagine January 6th, after the fight, you're gonna be celebrating, you know, Christmas and New Year's. Oh yeah, oh yeah, celebrating the New Year with a bang, man. See, like, what better way, like, uh, what better way to, like, celebrate, you know, uh, fucking, uh, the new year and just 2024, you know, getting into new things, first fight at 21, so looking forward to it, man, you know? Well, my Uh, man, uh, last fight, September 15th, Combat FC, you won their amateur featherweight fight, uh, featherweight title with a a first round um, first round uh, submission there, bro, against an uh, undefeated dude coming in there who fought some legit uh, competitors on his uh, amateur uh, career, man. Let's talk about it, bro. We had an interview after, but, you know, you were so pumped up. It was your birthday that yeah. day. It was my birthday that day. Fuck yeah. But now we get, to, we get to look back at it, man. Uh, you know, how you feeling about that outcome and the whole experience back on September 15th? It was great, man. Oh, it was great. I don't know, man. It was a uh, a good night. Like uh, everything fell into place. Like uh, I put in the work. I done what I needed to do. Everything necessary, and just fought a good fight. You know, I did. I got taken down. You know, that was the only thing that uh, one of the things I really was like, fuck. You know, gotta work on that. But uh, yeah, ended up getting the submission, and uh, was a good night for everybody. You know, my coach was happy. I was happy. You know, and yeah, we were celebrating after, you know, got to talk to you and shit, you know, but uh, I was kind of, I don't know, everything was, everything was uh, so much louder, you know, now we talking like a little conversation. It was fun. It was a good night. Yeah, you had a huge, uh, huge crowd for you. Uh, a lot of people coming up to you as I was interviewing you in the crowd and just hanging out with a lot of your uh, gym partners and coaches. Yeah. Uh, people are coming up to you, congratulation, congratulating you everywhere, bro. You got a big following, man. So congratulations uh, on that, also. Thanks, man. I mean, I don't know all my supporters and everybody who like uh, appreciates what I do. You know, I appreciate them back. You know, because uh, it's not easy being in the gym. So when people show love and like we can fuck, I can fucking like entertain them and make them happy. And like, you know, that's a win for me, man. Win for me. Well, my man, you walked away with that, uh, that title for combat FC. Uh, and now you're yeah. fighting for another title at uh reality fighting. Your first time making the trip to reality fighting. I believe yeah. this is going to be your fourth promotion you fought for in uh, your six amateur fights, man. How you feeling yeah. about getting uh, getting into reality fighting and fighting at Mohegan Sun, man? A huge, huge yeah. arena. Oh fuck yeah, man! Yo, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? My coach uh, Joey Gomez has fought there, I believe. Um, he's fought on the UFC stage too, but uh, and uh, I think Walters fought there. You know, uh, my other coach, you know, Walter Cotito, fucking and. Uh, 
yeah, so I'm excited to step in there, step into new territory and to get my feet wet in, uh, in the MMA scene over there, you know, because uh, I haven't been over there yet. So I want to test, just see what I got, you know, test myself out and uh, see what's up with these guys down there. And, uh, yeah, my family lives uh, some, somewhere down over there in Springfield, West Springfield. So I'm going to see if uh, we can get them to come out and uh, come show love and come see me fight and to handle business in their area, you know, so I'm looking forward to it, bro, to be honest. Big show, time to make a big statement, you know? Well, my man, uh, before we get to the opponent, you'll be fighting there. Uh, let's talk about this training camp. Uh, you had that fight in September 15th. There was some other fight, uh, other promotions going on in the next couple of months. That was your fourth fight in 2023. Was yeah, uh, yeah. was that fight and getting that title, was that the, the kind of nail in the coffin for 2023? Were you shutting it down there, or were you looking for another fight before the end of the year? Um, I think I was... Uh... I think I was setting my had my eyes set on uh, taking the rest of the year to chill and just uh, relax a little before like starting the new year off, right? And uh, getting right into it in 2024, you know, uh, not trying to wait, you know, take take uh, full advantage of this year, every uh, every opportunity I can get. So January 6th, man, that's fucking six days after the new year, so can't ask for much better than that. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, well, that was basically the nail in the coffin, you know, uh, for the year, you know. But the year to rest was a good one, you know. Made some good good improvements throughout the year. Learned a lot. Fucking uh, got to show it when I earned that title and that title shot. And now we got another one coming up, brother. So I'm excited to uh, keep fucking making waves and just fighting my ass off. That's really all I want to do. And, uh, yeah, show people what I got. Well, as far as this training camp, uh, you know, in between, when did you actually start, uh, you know, I would imagine you train all the time, but when did you actually start, uh, you know, with the pedal to the metal, uh, getting ready for this fight? Right about like seven, eight weeks out, like, uh, I would say about seven weeks out. Yeah. Right after, right after, uh, around Thanksgiving week, you know, was already training and stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, we, uh, amped it up like a week or two after that. A lot, you know, picked it up, and uh, yeah, man. So I would say seven weeks, eight weeks around that time frame. Well, my friend, uh, you've been fighting, uh, you know, 145, 150, 155 catch weights, uh, kickboxing yeah. along the way. Um, your only loss in 2023 was uh, against Sahib, a, 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 a beast of a fighter, but that was yeah. at 155. Uh, I would imagine. You were uh, jumping up in weight um, a little bit because you might not got fights at 145, trying to test yourself. What was, uh, you know, the decision to go up 155? And is 145 your home? Is that where you want to stay? Uh, yeah, I think 145 is my home for right now, man. You know, I'm definitely my home. Uh, Going to see how uh, this fight goes, you know. Uh, I anticipate me doing well. You know, I'm very confident right now. Uh Fucking uh, expecting a good fight uh, with this kid coming up. And, uh, yeah, I think 145 right now is where we're going to be uh, until, you know, we got to adjust. If we got to adjust, go up go up and wait. But, uh, yeah, 155, like, I don't know. It would have been better for me to fight at 145 then. And then, like, now going up a little more. But, uh, you know, just as, like, time goes on. But uh, that's just how it played out. And uh, it was good, though, because... Those fights uh, at 155 learned a lot, you know, fucking from those losses. Shout out to Saheed. Uh, would have been a good fight if we went all three rounds. I'm so fucking mad at myself, <laughs> but uh, I've let that go, you know. Props to him. He got my neck, and uh, yeah. Well, my uh, man. But, um, yeah. You've got 145 a for now. You've got a couple. And, uh, of I'm coming to the top of 145 division in New England. I don't know who's at the top. I think Lucas Rosa, but... I'll see you there, man. If you, if you got a number one spot, I'm, I'm coming for it. Well, my man, uh, before we get to the future and fights after this one on the 6th, let's get to this fight on the 6th. You are taking on Jake Russo. 3-0, uh, oh, yeah. three finishes. I believe he has a couple of KOs, TKOs, and a submission. Um, he's fought, yeah. uh, I think all his three fights have gone to at least the third round, second or third round, two of them to the third round. 
Um, he fights out of FAA. He's under Nick Newell, and we all know mm. uh, the accolades in that gym and under Nick, man. So he's coached well. Um, mm. How'd the fight come about? It's an amateur featherweight title fight. Uh, how'd it come about? And what do you know about Jake uh, going there in there? Um, I don't know too much about him. I know that he trains, like like you said, at FAA. You know, very good school. And uh, I feel I, I like the fighters that they got there. You know, good got good pros. You know, they on the scene. They doing their thing. Nick Newell's a veteran. So, yeah, respect to them. Um, so I'm excited to fight one of their guys. And, uh, yeah, don't know too much about my opponent. You know, like, uh, I haven't seen, I've only seen one fight, like, uh, on video. And he looks pretty good, you know, well-rounded, though. So, but I think I'm going to be able to handle him and be better in all all the areas of the game. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Now, uh, looking at his record, he's had three fights, you know, three wins, three finishes. But he's only fought one time in 2023, and I believe it was a, it was January of 2023. So uh, it's going to be a year, uh, you know, a year span since he's gotten that cage when he meets you up. You've been in there four times in 2023. Do you believe that's a big advantage for you, uh, being in there, you know, having so much ring time, cage time in there uh, compared to what he's had? Uh, yeah, it could definitely play to my advantage, you know. Um, I've been learning to get comfortable in that cage, to be honest. Uh, and every time it gets a little bit better, a little bit better, it feels a little better um, each step in. So, um yeah, I could play an advantage for sure, um, but I'm not putting that past me or like you. I don't really think of it as so much of an advantage, but it, it definitely gives me the edge, you know, the edge like one of those edges in the in the fight that he doesn't have. Yeah, I had more fights in uh, 2023, so should be good. You know, we'll see we'll see how he how he reacts in there. Well, I believe you'll probably be going. You probably be the guy coming into his kind of backyard um i yeah, believe definitely. he's in connecticut or springfield and uh nick yeah. newell as we know he was a bellator signed by bellator and uh oh, yeah. you know a lot goes on with me mohegan son and nick and his fighters there man uh, uh, hey, hey up, the kids are, up. <laughs> kids are up what's up, <laughs> what's up kid what's merry, up, merry christmas say, what's up to steve he said merry christmas merry <laughs> my boy Danny future champs <laughs> go wait for me downstairs Danny bring this down there I'll, wait. I'll, I'll be down there after my call alright did you finish your food we'll finish it okay well, yeah, yeah. well, my man, as far as that, you're going to be the guy outside coming in. And you've been there before uh, at Neff and stuff like that. Uh, you know, is that something you thrive on? Is it, you know, is it something cool to you? Do you not think about it? What goes through your head uh, going into someone yeah. else's backyard? Uh, it's fucking definitely cool. You know, I, I like to travel, first of all. And uh, if I can travel and fight, man, that's even better. So, um yeah it's uh it's definitely fun you know it's it's a little little fucking like uh a little bit feels a little bit out the box you know different you know not as comfortable but uh like uh that's also that's 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 like one of the edges maybe you don't have to think of it like that but i think of it as an edge i think of it as my edge like uh yeah i'm so I'm, I'm more comfortable being uncomfortable so uh you could say i thrive on it yeah i look forward to just fucking going to new places and fighting in front of people, man. New people and uh, doing my thing. Well, uh, there's a lot of grappling on this card, uh, you know, that that, yeah. that that leads off the the event. Um, you're coming in from a, a long ways away. Are you the only, uh, you know, only uh, dude or, or, or competitor from your gym, whether it's MMA or grappling, that's going to be making, uh, you know, going to be in that cage that night? Uh, nah, actually, that's uh, that's good you asked that because my boy Tyree, uh, Tyree Durham, he uh, blue belt, um, he's got a no gi fight. Uh, I don't know who he's uh, who he's uh, who's matches against, but uh, yes, so he's got a matchup, and uh, that's just him, just him and me. Uh, we going up there, gonna take care of business, you know, have some fun, and uh, do our thing, you know, look forward to it, and yeah. So he's competing at uh, 150 for jujitsu, and he's just been stepping on the scene now. And I think, uh, I think if this kid fights MMA, you know, he'll he'll be fucking, he'll be like a killer at 145. But um, yeah, good grappler, good grappler. So uh, should be a good, 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 uh, 
the jujitsu match right before my my fight. Excellent, my man. Well, a couple more questions, bro, before I let you go. Yeah, uh, you know, New Year's is right around the corner. I know you got to still take care of the family and, you know, show the yeah. show the holiday spirits while you're starving <laughs> and getting ready for this fight. Uh, to, but man. my man, uh, four fights in 2023. You probably could have had more if you wanted to, uh, but, you know, four in 2023. <laughs> you're kicking off 2024 right, you know, first week of the, the year. How busy are you mm -hmm. looking to stay? I would imagine by the end of the year or sometime during the year, you might think about going pro. You might already be a pro. But, uh, you know, how busy are you looking to stay in 2024 as far as, you know, this amateur career and uh, maybe hitting pro at some time? Yeah, shit, good question, man. Uh, definitely trying to keep my 2024 as busy as possible. Um, you know, uh, giving all goes well and I stay healthy, which, uh, you know, I take care of myself. So that's the good, that's the good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, looking for a busy 2024 and, uh, yeah, trying to, um, trying to win this title. Um, then you know, see what's next, see if I defend the other title, uh, Combat FC, uh, see what's next for reality. Uh, we're going to see how this fight plays out first, though. And uh, then we're going to look at what we got on the table as far as what's next, you know, what's next uh, on this journey. Well, my man, uh, you come away with a victory and that belt in hand at Reality Fighting. Where do you think this puts you as far as amateur featherweights? in uh, the New England area, maybe in the, uh, you know, kind of East Coast, New York, all them areas, because you are, you know, you are, uh, you know, you are on a big winning streak and you could be holding two important belts for two big promotions around here. Yeah, well, um, that's good, man. Uh, that's good that you think like that, man. I'm looking at uh, uh, New York. New York is a, is a new area that I'd like to get, get into, you know, I don't know what the amateur scenes like over there or like really pro is, but that's like right outside New England, uh, you know, Connecticut, we're going over there now. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I want to be the best on the, on New England scene. Uh, and then I want to like, maybe just be, see what's down on the West coast, uh, the South, the South, uh, the South side of the East coast and, uh, maybe see what's up in California. You know, I don't know, man. Like there's like a lot of amateur like promotions that are growing and shit. Like, uh, I don't know. I seen like Uriah Favors got the amateur promotion going, like our amateur side of his promotion out there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know too much else besides that really, but, uh, it would be cool to just see what's up before I can go pro, get all the experience in, and, uh, yeah, fight as in many places as possible in front of as many eyes as I can, you know, gain as much hype as fucking possible. And then we, then we'll see where the fucking ball is rolling at. Well, my man, you're only 21. Uh, the sky's the limit right now. Uh, you can take your time, and you you're know. under you're under some great tutelage there with uh, you know Mr. Yes. Gomez and uh, and Walter there, bro. So uh, congratulations, man, on all the success, success, man, in, in such a short career uh, so far. But uh, uh, you know, my last question, as always, uh, you know, what do we expect to see from Mike Jolliker on uh, January 6th, fighting for a second amateur featherweight title? Good question, man. First of all, thank you, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate you, man, and the fucking support you show uh, to me as well. And uh, shit, what you should expect from me, man, I um, want to fight a good fight, you know, want to show the hands, um, see if I can get some more striking off, you know, um, show what we've been doing in the gym. And uh, yeah, wherever the fight goes, I'm looking to dominate that area and, uh, you know, win the fight. However, However it presents itself, you know, however it presents itself, I'm going to take the opportunity to finish the fight. Um, yeah, looking to push the pace, hold my pace, and uh, really just try to break my opponent. Perfect, so, um, man. Yeah, let's get it. I want to see some light hands, some fast and light hands. But, um, yeah, it's my goals, man. It's my goals. Well, I can't wait to see it, my man. Uh, I'm sure it'll be, uh, you know, reality fighting always has a stream. Uh, yeah. if, if not live on uh, Facebook, but, uh, we'll be watching, bro. We'll be seeing what goes on with you and, uh, you know, another yes, title fight, man. man. Congratulations uh, on the gym. I know there's a lot of other fighters there thank doing you, thank you. great things. Uh, say hi to the, the fellas there. And, uh, gotcha. you know, um, Mike, you are my first MMA interview, uh, since, 
Uh, you were you were my last, and you were my uh, you were my hey. first, you were my my last of uh, 2023, man. So uh, I love oh, yeah. getting in touch with you, seeing uh, you know seeing the journey and uh, seeing yes. the success that you're having, bro. Uh, congratulations on all of it. Beautiful, thank you, brother. And yeah, I appreciate that. You know, trying to just do my thing. Reality fighting uh, should be a good show. They got the stream up, and uh, if you uh, are in Ash or uh, you know southern new hampshire northern mass area you can't make it out come to 77 sports bar in nashua and they're going to show the fight there which i thought was pretty cool so appreciate them you know um putting it on for us and helping us so we want to help them out and get some people over there watch some fights and uh come come to nashua and uh have a good time you feel me start the new year right Excellent, my man. Uh, any other sponsors or people uh, that help and support you through this uh, fight camp? You want to give them a shout out? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, uh, everybody who supports me, you know, my son who just ran up in here. I got to get back to. Um, oh, yeah, Lombardo, Loman, man, Ryan Lombardo, Cleb, Martin Stalls. Um, you know, you my man, brother. Um, we got Kevin at First Harvest Hemp, you know, CBD, THC, whatever. First Harvest Hemp on Instagram, KTA Management, 8191 Creative. Shout out my guy Dalvi, Dalvi and uh, Joseph. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, Tom Carosa, Carosa Eye Care, Merrimack. So uh, just everybody who is helping me on this fucking journey, you know, because these people make it possible. Uh, Rough Riders, uh, Hillsborough County. Uh, my man Chris, appreciate you. Appreciate you and your crew, you know, helping me out as well. They knew new to the team, so you know, happy to be happy to be making new friends. And uh yeah, dude. Thank you, Steve. You know, we're back. getting the talk, give me a platform, you know. <laughs> we're back, Mike. We're back. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, doing your own thing, man. Doing your own thing. And they're fucking we got my gym, uh, we fighting now. So I'm starting the new year off, January sixth, me and Tyree. Uh, I'm gonna start New Year and then we got Liam McNeil. Um I'm going to try to get him to talk to you because he's like a good uh, Muay Thai guy. I think he could uh, do his thing, the Muay Thai scene up here. And uh, oh, him, uh, he's going to fight at Donnybrook. And same with Buckets. You know, Buckets. Yeah, my boy. They're going yeah, to yeah. yeah. fight at Buckets. I mean, a, a Donnybrook promotion for some Muay Thai, amateur Muay Thai. And uh, yeah, bro. Who's, you, know who, you know who's headlining that card? Uh, the, uh, the Donnybrook card? Yeah. Uh, not Keegan. It's like a Muay Thai fight, but I think it's him. Yeah, it's Keegan, and who else? Who's the other guy? That's my question. Against who's fighting him? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'd like to know though. You do you yeah, know? You just can't. Know. Do you know, I, or you just can't think of it? More so. I was asking more so because I can't think of I can't think of his name. But, I don't know who he is. But you know, you like have you seen his face? Love. Have you seen his face? Does he have? Yeah, I've seen oh. his face. All right. Well, I'll I'll face, I'll though. look for. It. Is he a New England guy? Yeah. Not ringing a bell right now. Uh, I don't see that. I don't know. No, oh, all right. I about the guy, but I figured you maybe will know. Well, now, now, uh, now, 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 I'll, now I'll investigate it. So uh, I'll let yeah, you. Yeah. I'll let you know when I know, my man. Hey, my man. We can sit here and talk MMA and fights all day. Last thing I'm going to ask you to do though is your social media because uh, we want people oh, yeah. to follow you. I know uh, your gym, KTA. Uh, they do a lot of support of the fighters there on your Instagram. So shout out any social media you have. Uh, anywhere, oh, yeah, yeah. and uh, I'll let you go, man, and get ready for this fight in, uh, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a week or two. Yes, yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, so World of Woods, you heard at the beginning, um, World of Woods on Instagram. You can pass me a follow, you know. I try to post some funny shit on a story, and, uh, you know, a little bit of my life. You see you see what's up my world, you know. And uh, Facebook, Woods Mike. And then you can check out the gym at KT Academy. Uh, underscore Nashua, Instagram, Karasu Tango Academy, uh, KT Academy MMA .com. That's a cool ass website we just got up to. So, matter of fact, you want to check that out over anything else. I'll, if you were to pick one, pick that one. KT Academy MMA .com. And yeah, my man. Thank you. Fucking was fun. Excellent, man. Uh, congratulations oh, yeah. again, man. I said that about 10, 10 times, but man, the hey, gym, the gym's so doing much. great. Uh, you're doing great. And uh, like he said, check them out on Instagram. Uh, you know, you'll see a lot of, uh, you know, 
uh, a lot of good content and a lot of up and coming fighters, uh, you know, getting ready to explode on New England. So thank you so much, Mike. Yeah. Um, we'll yes. be watching you on the sixth, and I'm sure I'll be bumping bumping into you in uh, one of the future cards, you know, uh, later oh, yeah. later in the year. But uh, again, a pleasure always talking to you, bro. Yeah, man. Thank you, Steve. Take it easy, brother. All right.